You know, I'm a big believer in everything starts from within. If you want to love others, love yourself first. If you want to forgive others, forgive yourself first. You can't set others free without you free, freeing yourself first. And I'm someone who's always just working on his mind and trying to figure out how to be better, how to be better. And I just came up with this little practice of how to forgive myself. And it, and it worked. And again, it was a very simple thing. A lot of it is actually just a metaphor. You know, before you start everything, first forgive yourself. Let go of the past. Mm-hmm. And now you can step in the future by making a vow and then doing the practice. And the self-forgiveness was very simple. I was living in California and I drove out in my car uh, to this uh, Pescadero, which is a beautiful lighthouse there in Northern California, you know, ocean over there, and hiked out to the to the water. And I just sat there and I pulled out my journal and, um, and I wrote down, I forgive myself, but I wrote down, I, for everything I was holding against myself, I forgive myself for, wrote it. I forgive myself for, wrote it, felt it, wrote it, felt it, wrote it, felt it, wrote it, felt it, wrote it, felt it until I was done. And then I actually made myself, I read it out loud again and again to feel the weight of what I was carrying. When you feel the weight of what you've been carrying, all the unnecessary garbage, you want to drop it. You're like, I don't want this anymore, right? And there's something about writing with a pen on paper. There's a power in there. There's a declaration there. So I did that again and again until I was ready to let go. Then I just hiked out to the ocean and then ball it up and just give it over. Give it over to bigger than me. Whatever's bigger than me, just take it. Mm. You know, because that can handle it. I can't, but that can. Sure. Right? And it does. And then I realized this is the perfect time to write the vow. Because I, I, I recommit to myself occasionally, sure. right? And this is the perfect time to write the vow. I'm just let go of the past. Let me create my future. So let me write a vow to love myself and the way I'm going to love myself in the future. And then set out to do it. So it's like a, it was a beautiful little transition. And, and I think it just took what I had done before to such a great level that now... Anytime I write down the vow, I first I do the self-forgiveness exercise. Mm. And you don't need to go by an ocean or anything. You can throw in the toilet and the garbage. You I can burn, burn it. You can burn it. Yeah. You know, you can do whatever you want. It's the intention. You're letting go. You're giving it over. You know, mm. actually, last time I did it, I think I threw it in the garbage disposal. Like, I've yeah. given it over. I've dropped the weight. Yeah. Time to actually fly. You know, it's something I've come to really believe. And I think I thank the child mm. that I was who went through whatever he did, because somewhere along the way, he decided no matter what, he was not going to be a victim. Mm. And look, I went through stuff that I could literally point to and say, victim, 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 right? But look, that doesn't that holds me back. But if I decide I want to be the hero, like what do I do? I take whatever is there and I own it and I let go. You know, it's like, like whatever happened, happened. But whatever's left from it, whatever the emotional charge or what I'm carrying with it, that's mine. You know, like, it's not like someone gave me that emotional charge. I created that emotional charge. Mm -hmm. And so I'm the one who's got to free myself. And if I free myself, I become the hero of that story. (laughs) That's simple, man. I can be the hero of any story in my life. All I got to do is free myself. And the only one who can free me is me. You know, only we can be the heroes of our stories, you know. And it's something that it's... And it's, makes, it's made me better by taking responsibility for everything in my life. And when I say responsibility for everything in my life, I mean everything internal. You know, I, I really believe everything starts with the internal and goes to the external. So I take responsibility for every single thing, every single feeling, every single emotion, every single thing that happens inside. That might be the biggest lesson here is like once you start doing something, any work, any internal work, don't coast. Yeah. Coast is when we just all humans we get we get comfortable we get lazy you know it's just a natural thing if you're if you have plenty in the environment you're not going to go out and hunt every day you know you just get fat and lazy right and the mind gets fat and lazy and I got fat and lazy and I just kind of like internally and I just kind of like took it for granted and I stopped doing everything and the guy who wrote and talked about it is the one who wasn't doing it and look what happened. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, I am a human being and I am going to fall apart like, like a human being. And we all have our things that get to us. And I was with someone I loved more than anything. And out of, out of the blue, boom, rug flip, I come back from a tip and she, and she says, I don't want to be with you anymore. And other, <laughs> and other things that went along with it. And I felt like, uh, you know, the rug I was standing, you know, if you're standing on a rug and someone just takes it and goes, Foop! Yep. And you're just flipping in the air because you have no control. 
and you're just like, oh my God, I'm going to hit that ground. I'm going to shatter. That was rock flip day. And that showed me very quickly with my emotions and then my thoughts and where I went, dude, you're not loving yourself. You've, you've, you've gone way from it. Mm. And um, what it also gave me was I had to save myself all over again. And I had to go at this and do this again. And I felt so much shame and guilt and stupidity because like the things that were coming up, the way I was feeling, the way I was reacting, you know, God acts, the devil reacts. I was reacting. I was in full reacting mode, pain, sh- this, that, emotion. I'd rather than just being a man and say, look, this is who I am. If you don't, if you want to be this great, if you don't want to be this, that's your choice. Mm-hmm. You know, but like, this is who I am to you. I'm taking a stand for you, right? But the rest, that's up to you. You know, that's what I would have done, but I didn't because I wasn't loving myself. Sure. And I fell apart. And I, I literally just came apart at the scenes. This was a deep, deep, it still is. I still feel that. It's a deep love. And, you know, I think often we don't talk in society the level of love men can feel. You know, we don't talk about this. It, it's deep, man. We'll give our lives for someone. Yeah. That's a real love. That's a level of love that men have, you know. And, um, and I fell apart. And I had to be, go back kind of quite ashamed to my own self practice, which I've written about, talked about, and which is actually literally save people's life and do it from this, from realize I had to do it from scratch because mm-hmm. I've really fallen hard. And again, it was like, will this work? Every time I ask myself, will this work? There's a part of me is like, maybe it won't work this time. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm always like a little scared. Like maybe last time, last five times were a fluke. You know, yeah. maybe I've just gone too far. And you know what? It worked. This question came from after I was getting better. But then I was like interacting with other people and things were, you know, life was happening and something's good, something's not so good. And I would ask myself, you know, in the middle of a conversation, in the middle of something that I wasn't happy about, if I loved myself, what would I do? Now, the key point being if, because it's not like I have, I'm loving myself 100% of the time or even let's assume I'm loving myself 1% of the time. If. So anyone can answer an if question. When you ask your mind that, it'll give you the answer. What you can do is then make the choice, what you want to do internally and externally. You know, and it's a very powerful, I think asking yourself questions in the moment is one of the best things we can do. Sure, it's a pattern interrupt. It's a great pattern interrupt, especially if you take one question and make that your pattern interrupt. So you got to find the question that you know is going to serve you in every situation. And for me, that that was this question. You know, I, I can ask myself before I sit down to eat, I can ask myself if I don't feel like going to the gym. I can ask myself if I'm in a conversation with someone. It's a difficult conversation. I can ask myself if I'm just feeling crappy about myself. And ask myself, if I love myself, what would I do? Well, I would do the practice. You know, if I wanted to eat a if I love myself, what would I do? I would choose a healthier option. It's a very, very simple question, but it's, it's, it works beautifully. Mm-hmm. And I think it's because of the if yeah. part. And what I've also learned is like, look, you can't fight fear. It's a concept that I've, I've learned is that, you know, light and darkness. Like, you can't fight darkness. Darkness is the absence of light. So what you do is you work on the light. You bring the light in, and that takes away the darkness. Yeah. And so that's something I actually really learned on my, on my own in trying to save myself, was if I worked on the light, it would take care of the rest. Mm. And that's love. Love is ultimately light. Like, I don't run around and say, oh, like, I don't run like a crazy happy guy, but I run around solid. Yeah. It's, it's more of a solidness you get, yeah. you know, which is actually even better, I'd say. I mean, you get happy and, and, and still you get sad. Like life happens, of course. right? You're, we're human beings. We don't become robots, right? But there's a solidness that comes. That's a state that arises from within that, and it arises from you. It's yours. No one gave this to you. You created this for yourself. And so no one can take this away from you. Only you can give it away. And you can take it, and you can create it again and again. And you know, as you know, I've like lost it. You know, I've completely let go, and you know, like let life get the better on me. But I know where to go back, and I've gone back, and each time it works. Mm-hmm. I've almost gone back. In some ways, I'm a little. I don't know <laughs> if it's a little crazy, but I've gone back to see does this work? I have to convince. I want to convince myself again. You know, and I do it, and it works every time. You know, it's it's amazing. It's so simple too. Yeah. Like I wouldn't find a better solution because I try other things as well. And and I don't think this is anything, This is there's nothing rocket science here. 
you know, I think if it was rocket science, uh, I wouldn't have gotten it. This was just like one man trying to save himself, and he figured out a way, and he shares it, shared it with others, and you know what? It worked for them. Why? Because we're human beings, mm. same human mind.